Hello to whoever is watching this right now. My name is Elaine and I'll be sharing today's devotion, which is the sixth phrase of Jesus' last saying on the cross. So today's devotion is taken from uh, John chapter 19, verse 30. When Jesus had received the wine, he said, It is finished, and he bowed his head and handed over the spirit. Do take note that the phrase here is, It is finished, not I am finished. If Jesus had said, I am finished, this would mean that he was defeated by death. But no, uh, Jesus said, it is finished. It means that he has finished and fulfilled the Father's will. So what exactly was finished? Well, first of all, Jesus finished his mission on earth. So Jesus outlined his mandate in Luke chapter 4, verse 18 to 19. He quoted Isaiah chapter 61, verse 1. The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is on me because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives and release from darkness for the prisoners. So Jesus said here, He came to earth to preach the good news to give people an understanding of the kingdom of God and the eternal hope they had through him. So the second thing that Jesus had finished is being the perfect lamb of God. So he had won redemption for sinners and we can see this when John had said, uh, Behold, the lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world in John chapter 1 verse 29. Back in the days before Jesus came, uh, there's, uh, the Israelites will burn sacrifices to God to atone for their sins. But since uh, Jesus had already died for our sins and became the perfect Lamb of God, we no longer have to burn sacrifices to uh, God to atone for our sins. Basically, Jesus had cleansed all our sins once and for all. Now the last thing that Jesus had finished is having victory over the devil. In 1 John chapter 3, verse 8, it says, The one who does what is sinful is of the devil, because the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the devil's work. So here it says that the devil sins, and those who sin are his. Uh, but Jesus amazingly defeated the devil and break the power of sin for each and every one of us. Because of sin, we are separated from God, but Jesus had recon reconciled us back to him and when he said it is finished, it means we can now come back to God through, Jesus, through faith in Jesus Christ. So uh, today's devotion has uh, really encouraged me and touched my heart. Um, I will feel very defeated and hopelessness when I look at the people that I love, uh, but they have not accepted Christ. Uh, I will pray for them every day and just hoping that one day they'll open up their hearts and one day they'll accept Christ in their hearts. But uh, throughout this journey, uh, a lot of times when nothing seems to be moving, I will feel very tired and I will feel very defeated and hopeless and giving up hope. Like I said, once again, this passage has reminded me and encouraged me to continue to pray for those who I love who have not accepted Christ, to not give up on them and to hope a uh, hope in Jesus Christ. And uh, I hope that each and every one of us will not be discouraged or give up uh, whenever we feel defeated and be reminded that God has given us victory through Jesus Christ. So before I end uh, this devotion, uh, Ezra and I are going to sing a song called I Have This Hope by 10 Avenue North. So uh, this song, as the title suggests, um, we are declaring that we have this hope in Jesus Christ. God has given us victory through Him and we put our hope in Him. So please enjoy this song uh, and you can sing along if you want to. Uh, let us declare that we have this hope in Jesus Christ. As I walk the street alone, questions come and questions go. Was there purpose for the pain that cried? I don't want to live in fear I want to 
час милування, час я песня бісі, повчаю на чадрі. Of my 